is helping me. I can do the things that he does. I can love like Jesus. I believe his light can shine through me. I can do the things that he does. I can love like Jesus. another week of church together. All summer long, we are gonna be saying, ready, set, move! We are on the move and we are following Jesus here, there, and everywhere. And do you know why we can follow Jesus? It's because we can trust him. Jesus wants to be your friend forever. In fact, that's the answer to our big question this month. I'm gonna teach it to you now and then I want you to get ready to say the answer back to me. The question is going to be, who wants to be your friend forever? And the answer, I know you know it, it's Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Can you try that with me, friends? So when I say the question, I want you to shout the answer out loud. Here we go. Who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's right, boys and girls. Jesus wants to be your friend forever. And we can follow Jesus. All summer long, we are gonna be practicing the same memory verse because it is a really important one. When we know that Jesus loves us and that he came back so that he could be our friend forever, we know that we can trust him and we can follow him. In the Bible, it says, Jesus said, come, follow me. Matthew 4, 19. Are you ready to learn it? I'm gonna teach it to you a little bit by a little bit and I want you to be my echo. So start by putting your hands up like this and we're gonna say, Jesus said, let's try that. Jesus said, good job boys and girls. Now this time, can you make a motion like you're saying, come over here, let's try that. And we're gonna say, come, try that with me. Come, good job boys and girls. Now get ready to walk, cause we're following Jesus here, there and everywhere. And you're going to say, follow me while you walk. Can you try that with me? Follow me. Great job boys and girls. Now show me your Bible and it's, Matthew 4, 19. Try that with me. Matthew 4, 19. Great job, boys and girls. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. Remember, we start with our hands up and we say, Jesus said, here we go. Jesus said, come, follow me. Matthew 4, 19. Great job, boys and girls. Well, today in our true Bible story, we are gonna hear another story about Peter. Boys and girls, everywhere Peter went, he was telling people that Jesus wanted to be their friend forever. But some people, 
They didn't believe him. And some people would get so angry at him that one time he got thrown in prison. Boys and girls, do you think he stayed there for very long? Let's check out our true Bible story and see. It is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We Friends, I'm Zoe. Today is a very big day because I'm going to day camp. It's my very first time, so I'm a little nervous. So I did everything I could to get ready. I got my backpack, and inside my backpack is some snacks, my water bottle, and we're gonna be playing lots of fun games. So I packed my fastest running shoes. Oh! And I also packed my favorite plush friend that I like to keep with me when I'm nervous. If you know his name, shout it out! That's right! Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe! Who? Who? I heard my name, so here I flew! Hi, Ollie! I'm a little nervous because I'm going to day camp for the very first time. Camp is a big adventure, it's true. I know someone who is always with you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta-da! <laughs> I call these my Ready, Set, Move Cookie Cupcakes because they look like they're ready to roll. <laughs> but you didn't come here just for the cupcakes. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible starts with Jesus' friends, the disciples. Oh look, there's Peter. Everyone say, hi Peter. Hi Peter. Jesus' friends were going all around the city sharing the good news about Jesus. They were telling everyone that Jesus wants to be their friend forever. But this guy didn't like it one bit. This is the mean King Herod. Everyone show me your meanest faces. Oh, very mean. <laughs> King Herod did not like what Jesus' friends were saying. So King Herod sent a whole bunch of soldiers to take Peter to jail. Everyone say, oh no, oh no. Peter's friends could have been worried, scared, mad, sad, or frustrated because their friend Peter was gone. What do you think Peter's friends did? They prayed. Later that night, the most amazing thing happened. While Peter was sleeping, an angel woke him up. The angel said, follow me. Peter did what the angel said and followed him safely outside. After the angel left, Peter went to his friend's house and knocked on the door. Can you help Peter knock? Ready? Knock, knock, knock. No one answered the door. Let's keep knocking. Knock, knock, knock. Look, they finally opened the door. His friends were amazed to see Peter standing there. Peter told his friends everything about how an angel helped him and led him safely out and how Jesus was with him the whole time. Wow, Jesus was always with Peter and Jesus is always with you too because Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up, two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, 
Who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus was always with Peter. And Jesus is always with you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God sent an angel to lead Peter out of jail so Peter could go tell more people about Jesus. Jesus was with Peter, and Jesus will always be with me. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Wow, Jesus will always be with me, even at camp. Isn't that right, Ollie? Woo hoo! I'll see you next time. Bye! Boys and girls, did you hear that? Jesus is always with you. Even when Peter was in prison, Jesus was with him. He knew he could be brave because Jesus was with him. And because of that great power, Peter was freed from jail by the angels. Isn't that an amazing story? And boys and girls, the good news is this. Jesus is always with you too. And he wants to be your friend forever. Friends, let me ask you that big question one more time. I know you know the answer. Who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's right, boys and girls. Will you pray with me? Let's fold our hands, bow our heads, close our eyes, and you can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for my good friend, Jesus. I know that he is always with me. I love you, God. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. Well, next week is the beginning of a brand new month, but all summer long, I told you, we are still gonna be following Jesus here, there, and everywhere. So get ready, set, move. We're still following after Jesus. I'll see you next week, boys and girls. I love you, bye. I get scared sometimes, so I cover my eyes, but that's so silly, cause God is always with me, so I stand up tall, stand up tall. remember he is strong, he is strong. I won't be afraid. be afraid, God is always with me, fear, fear. get out of Get out of here, get out of here for good.
good.